Hi and welcome to Parent University. My name is Amber Ammon and I'm the K-6 Curriculum and Assessment Coordinator here at Collegium Charter School. In this segment of Parent University, we're going to be discussing assessments. With assessments, there are four main types of assessments. We have a diagnostic assessment, a formative assessment, summative assessments, and then norm referenced assessments. Two of the assessments, formative and summative assessments, are both used much more frequently in schools than the other two. But first I'm gonna start talking about diagnostic assessments. Diagnostic assessments are, for example, at Collegium we give FAST testing and link it testing. FAST is for K to two and link it is third through sixth grade. The purpose of these diagnostic assessments uh, is to show what the students know, what they've learned throughout the year, and where they're at at the end of the year. That means we're giving these diagnostic assessments only three times in a school year. Another type of assessment is formative assessment. Formative assessment occurs more frequently in the classroom than summative assessment. Formative assessment is something that the teachers use to guide their instruction while they're teaching a unit. For example, a student may give a quiz or an exit ticket and that formative assessment is in a written form, but there's many other ways to show formative assessment as well. For example, students can be standing up or standing down, put a thumbs up or thumbs down, all to show what they are learning. This allows the teacher to determine what the students know, what misconceptions there are, and where they need to take them. Another form of assessment is summative assessment. These are the mid-module tests, for example, in Eureka Math, the end of module tests. Um, they're the larger whole unit tests that show what the students have learned throughout that unit. And the final type of assessment are norm referenced assessments. These assessments don't start occurring until third grade and for collegium they are third through sixth grade for K to six purposes and these are our state PSSA tests. The norm referenced assessments assess all the students in a group and then they use those results to compare to see what students are learning at that particular grade level. We're now going to step into a second and fourth grade classroom, meet the teachers, and see how they're using assessments in their classroom to help their students. Hi, my name is Katie Farry, and I am a second grade teacher here at Collegium Charter School. I often use exit tickets as formative assessment in my classroom. Exit tickets are used to check understanding. It is a formative assessment that helps teachers assess how students understand the material taught in class. I use it daily and it is an ungraded assessment. I use this data to adapt instruction to meet the student's needs for the next day. I use exit tickets for my EER groups. EER stands for Extend, Enrich, and Reteach. This allows me to see what each student's individual needs and mastered skills are to either reteach, extend, or enrich. But exit tickets aren't the only form of assessment I use to organize my EER groups. I also use FAST data. FAST is a diagnostic assessment that focuses on comprehension, fluency, and basic math skills. Hi, my name is Ms. Saylor and I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Collegium Charter School. I frequently use formative assessments in my English language arts class in many different ways. One way I do that is during our read aloud, I will have students think, pair, share with a partner and I'll have them think first and then turn and talk, then we share a couple of responses to the class as a whole. They will do things like predict what they think is going to happen next or react to what just happened or ask a question. I also have them raise their hand if they think that one reaction is going to happen versus another outcome in the story. Um, I also ask my students to show me a thumbs up, down, or in the middle of what they are understanding. So if we just worked on verbs, I'll say, how confident are we that we can identify a verb? Thumbs up if we could teach somebody, thumbs in the middle if we get it but not really sure, and thumbs down if we still need a lot of help on that concept. Another thing that I do for reading for formative assessments is I will check their notebooks and I will just take everybody's notebooks, flip through those pages and see how well they're taking notes. That gives me a good idea of 
who is able to figure out the main idea of a story and who is still struggling with what's important to write down. And I also get to see their thinking when they react to, oh my gosh, I can't believe this just happened. I think this person is gonna do this next. It gives me an idea of what they're thinking about too. Thank you for watching our video on assessments. If you still have questions about assessments that are going on in your child's classroom, please feel free to reach out to your child's teacher. Or as always, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. My email address is in the description box below. Thank you for your time.